Welcome to the School of Continuing Studies Library at Georgetown University. This video is the third in a series of videos focused on Simmons Insights. After watching this video, you'll be able to interpret crosstab data. Once you've created a crosstab in Simmons, you might be wondering how to interpret all of this information. While there are a number of data categories here, the three most important that will best represent the relationship between the two variables that you've selected are the vertical, horizontal, and index scores. Let's look at the index score first. Index scores in Simmons are meant to show positive and negative relationships between variables. The base score in Simmons for an index is 100. Anything above 100 means there's a positive relationship. Anything below 100 means there's a negative relationship. For example, there would be a negative relationship between baby boomers who have streamed Netflix within the last 30 days because they have an index score of 52. On the other hand, there's an extremely positive relationship between Gen Z and streaming Netflix in the last 30 days as they have an index score of 164, meaning 64 points above the average score of 100. When interpreting horizontal scores, you're starting with the variables that you select on the row, read the data point, and relate it to the variables selected for the column. For example, the way you would interpret the, the score of 18% for baby boomers would be to read the column as follows. Of all baby boomers, 18% have streamed or downloaded Netflix in the last 30 days. To interpret vertical scores, you basically do the opposite of what we just did for horizontal. You're starting with the column category or the column variable and moving on to the row. So the way you would interpret this is as follows. Of everyone who has streamed or downloaded videos on Netflix in the last 30 days, 12.5% were baby boomers. Together, the index, horizontal, and vertical scores give a good representation of the relationship between your selected variables. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please email the School of Continuing Studies Library at seslibrary at georgetown.edu.